we are determining equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in parallel previously we learned series now we are discussing in parallel now to perform this experiment we have a experimental setup and the circuit diagram for that is we have a battery positive terminal and negative terminal of the battery which is connected to a plug key this is connected to a rheostat a variable resistor then this is connected to two individual resistors r1 r2 they are connected in parallel and we have a voltmeter which is connected in parallel and we have an ammeter which is connected in series this is used to measure the current this is used to measure the potential difference between these two points now the procedure for this experiment is initially we will connect r1 resistor then voltmeter reading ammeter reading we will record then we will find using this formula voltage by current what is the value then we will change the voltmeter reading observe the current then again find mean value likewise for the second resistor also we will take then finally two resistors will connect in parallel and then we will observe the mean resistance let us go to the experiment bench and we will perform the experiment students now this is a battery eliminator you can see there is a positive terminal of the battery the red one and a negative terminal of the battery the black one this is connected to a plug key this is used to make the circuit or break the circuit when i remove this plug key it is a open circuit when i close this it will become a closed circuit this is connected to a rheostat this is a variable resistor we can see here by moving this knob here and there we can increase or decrease the resistance and this is connected to a resistor unknown resistor we can see this and the other end of the resistor is connected to ammeter negative terminal milli ammeter negative terminal and the positive terminal of the milli ammeter is connected to positive terminal of the battery so this is a circuit we are using multimeter as a voltmeter in this experiment to observe the potential difference okay now let us perform the experiment i switched on the battery now observe the voltage drop across r1 it is approximately 1.5 so it is little varying 1.47 voltage is 1.47 and corresponding current is 1.5 milliampere i am changing the voltage now observe the voltmeter reading it's 4 volt then the corresponding current we can see here 4 milli ampere so two trials we have taken now what i will do i remove this resistor i am using another resistor the second resistor r2 let us remove this and replace with another resistor okay the second resistor r2 we connected here observe the voltmeter reading in first case 1.5 volts and corresponding current is 1.5 milliampere because this is 0 2 in between we have 1 then this is 1.5 i am changing the voltage observe the potential difference here 3.994 volts and the corresponding current is 4 milli ampere now what we will do we will connect two resistors in parallel we can see this please observe all of you two ends of these resistors are 
attached see this end of the resistor is connected to this end this end of the resistor is connected to this this these are said to be in parallel previously one after the other in series we connected now in parallel we connected like this let us switch on the uh, circuit now observe the voltage 1.5 voltmeter reading is 1.4 a corresponding current is 3 milliampere you can see here this is 2 this is 4 in between we have 3 so 3 milliampere now i increased voltage there observe the potential drop across these two resistors it is 3.88 and the current is 8.4 8.4 we can see that 8.4 like this we can take two three trials i will take and i will write the recordings okay students after performing the experiment whatever observations we observed and i noted down on In this tabular column, first case when I used the resistor one, one point five volt was the voltage. Then the corresponding current is one point five milliampere. If I substitute in this formula, thousand I am getting. Similarly, when I increase the voltage, corresponding current also increase. It is three milliampere, and voltage by current thousand. The mean value of these two. Is thousand and the resistance is thousand ohms. Similarly, we use the second resistor. For second resistor also, exactly same way we observe thousand ohm. Last case, we connected both of them in parallel. That is thousand ohm, thousand ohm. I connected in parallel. I adjusted the voltage to one point five volt. Then the current, you can see, it is double three milliampere. If I substitute in this formula voltage by current, one point five by three, that is one by two, thousand by two, which is equal to five hundred. I will calculate here one point five by three milliampere, that is three into ten power minus three, which can be written as one point five one zero and two zero. So thousand divided by two. Which is equal to 500 ohms. Similarly, the second case also, when I applied 3 volt, the corresponding ammeter reading is 6 milli ampere. When I substitute in this formula, voltage by current 3 by 6 milli ampere, 6 into 10 power minus 3. Three ones are and three twos are, which is equal to thousand by two, so five hundred ohms. That is this, and the mean value of this five hundred, five hundred. Again, we are getting five hundred. Now here is a conclusion: when thousand ohm resistor and another thousand ohm resistor we connected in parallel, the total resistance is becoming five hundred. That means when you connect two resistors in parallel the total resistance decreases and the formula is 1 by r total equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 this is a generalized formula when two resistors connected in parallel thank you